Edgar Briggs, The President, episode 11, part 1, production number 9437, date recorded 27th of September 74, take 1. No. Foreign Minister is here to see you, Excellency. Thank you, Mohammed. Good evening, Mr. President. Good evening, Mazira. I have finalized the details of our visit to London, sir. We are leaving on Monday. Excellent. If we are successful in our negotiations with the British government, it will establish our international position and bring great credit to our country. The British Secret Intelligence Service have agreed to give you full protection during your visit. Mm. And who will be in charge of the security arrangements? A uh, Mr. Briggs. Edgar Briggs? Yes, sir. Oh, no! Are you all right, Mr. President? Yes. Yes. I think we are going to need Mr. Briggs. Unfortunately. <laughs> Edgar, I'm back. Oh, I've made the tea, darling. Yes. Yeah. Edgar! What? What have you brought that for? It's the garden. What garden? We've, we've only got a window box. <laughs> darling, don't be impatient. It'll soon grow into a garden. <laughs> we'll never use it. Well, of course we will. Anyway, we can lend it to the other people in the flats. I mean, people are always borrowing each other's lawnmowers, aren't they? <laughs> there you are. See, there's somebody already. Right, come on. Come in. Good morning. Now, look, you will clean it before you let me have it back, won't you? I beg your pardon, sir? Oh, hello, Buxton. Don't you want to borrow this? Well, no, sir. So I've got the car downstairs waiting to take it back to headquarters. Uh, good thinking, Buxton. It'll take us ages to get there on this. <laughs> have you got time for a cup of tea before you go, Mr. Buxton? Oh, I think so, Mrs. Briggs. Thank you very much. Oh, good. Uh, sir, if you remember, President Fazan of Baria is arriving. Oh, yes, darling, bring another mug. President Fazan is arriving. <laughs> no, no, sir, for the negotiations. He's arriving at London Airport. Oh, I see. Don't worry about that extra mug. He's having his tea at London Airport. <laughs> right. Sit down, Mr. Baxter. Yeah, I'll sit down. Thank you very much. Go on, I'll pour down, shall I? <clears throat> did you read about the assassination attempt on President Fazan? Oh, yes, yes, I, I did. <laughs> oh, darling, look at that mug, it's leaking. Oh, never mind, darling. Here, you are, Buxton, you could have one of these flower pots. You don't mind drinking out of that, do you? We met President Pazan on his last visit, didn't we, darling? Yes, we didn't. Would you like some milk, Buxton? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Good, there you are. <laughs> What's he here for this time? Darling, I can't tell you. That is top secret. I mean, I can't possibly tell you he's come here to see the Prime Minister about offering this country a loan of 400 million pounds. I can possibly tell you that. Have you met him, Mr. Buxton? No, madam, no. Charming man. Well, oh, I wouldn't have said Buxton was a charming man. No. <laughs> no, I think your wife was referring to President Fazan, sir. Well, he's not here. He's having his tea at London Airport. <laughs> Can I have some sugar, sir, please? Oh, yeah, sorry, Buxton. Certainly here you are. <laughs> it's lovely, isn't it? Never 
Never mind. Sorry. I'm just feeding you know, old Buxton. What's what you I'll do? get you another mug, Mr. Buxton. No, please don't trouble Mrs. Briggs. I think we should be getting back to headquarters. You're not taking my wife back to headquarters. <laughs> You're going to take me. All right, come on, let's get going. <laughs> Darling, this tea isn't strained very well, is it? <laughs> Let's get the head and coat. Let's go. Edgar, you're not leaving that lawnmower in here. Oh, all right, darling. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll uh, leave it in the kitchen, shall I? We're going to be late, you know. Morning, everybody. Morning. Oh, there you are, sir. Let's go, shall we? All right, yes, certainly. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, Spencer. But we've got to wait for the commander. Well, he's gone to London Airport. Well, it's a fine time to go on your holidays. No, no. Oh, no. Right, never mind, never mind. Give me a bit of time to discuss the President Fazan's country, the Republic of Bahria, with you. Uh, oh, we Senator haven't got Spencer, time. Spencer, just... You know, concentrate, you might learn something. <laughs> now, the Republic of Bahria is in the Persian Gulf, which is situated... Uh, Somewhere, uh, uh, it's, well, it's, uh, it's, it's on this map, sir. Ah, actually. yes, there it is. Yes, yes, that's it. Of course, I knew it was uh, quite near London. <laughs> now, look here. In order not to confuse you, I think I'll just put this map on the top of this one. As you know, the president's stay here must be comfortable, discreet, and as quiet as Buxton. Are you paying attention? Yes, sir. Yes, thank you. Now, as you know, the president has enemies not only in his own country but in the neighbouring countries, as you can see. <laughs> now, there have been many attempts to made on his life to assassinate him, and it is our job while he is in London to protect him. Now, let's just discuss the route that we shall take from the airport. We shall, of course, be going by car along this road here. Uh, that's a river, sir. Then we shall go by boat. Now, <laughs> when we get here, what we shall do... By boat? You don't expect me and the President to swim all the way to London, do you? <laughs> what is wrong with the plan we already have? Absolutely nothing, Spencer. You are perfectly right. In fact, I prefer this plan myself. It's much better, much quicker. Look, the President leaves Heathrow Airport travelling by road. There will be three cars travelling together. I uh, see. Just, just, just a minute here, Spencer. Just a minute. Three cars together. Well, you know, won't that block the road? <laughs> They'll be behind each other, sir. Yes, but somebody has to go in front. The commander will be in front, sir. Well, the commander's on his holiday. The commander is at London Airport. What a silly place to take your holidays, London <laughs> Airport. Well, sir, we ought to be leaving. Look, we only have three quarters of an hour on my watch. We ought to get a different watch, Buxton. I've got 12 hours on my watch. <laughs> sir, we have 45 minutes to get to the airport. Then I suggest we leave immediately. Now, come on. Tell you what, I'll take this map with us. You know, just in case we get lost. Come on, let's go. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry about that, Spencer. That's a map of the Persian Gulf. I know. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You know, these things can be dangerous. Always carry a map like that. I'm sure you, Mr. Ambassador. I sound well aware of the dangers the president is in. Ah, excuse me. I've uh, checked security down at the tarmac, sir. All is well. Good. Will you go into the lounge and look after the foreign office people for yes, me? Yes, Buxton, Cathy. Thank you. Ah, Briggs. Commander. Mr. President, how wonderful to see you again. How Briggs. are you? <laughs> That's not the President. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you'd been deposed. <laughs> it's the Ambassador. Glad to hear you managed to get another job. <laughs> the President's plane has just landed. We've got about four minutes before he arrives. Right. Will you take Cathy and Buxton down and uh, bring him up and escort him in here, will you? Uh, Ambassador, Ma'am, I think it's time you went to the day. Hello. How are you? Glad, glad to come. Briggs! Oh, hi, Briggs! Oh, Briggs. Oh, Briggs. <laughs> They're waiting for the president. Oh, of course, yes, I understand. Uh, while I'm here, Commander, I think I ought to just check everybody's passes. Yes, of course. Thank you. Could I check all your passes, please? And that means everyone. Thank you. But do you know me, Briggs? Ah, how do you know my name, Commander, if you haven't seen my pass? Hey, do you see my point? Very well. Thank you, Commander. Thank you, sir. Thank you, madam. Thank you, madam. Thank you, sir. Thank you, madam. Thank you. <clears throat> well, they all seem to be... They all seem to be in order. There you are. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. There you are. Thank you. Do you see what I mean, Commander? It's a good job I checked these. Your pass says that you are Mrs. Anderson. <laughs> Just a minute. You see, now look what's happened here. You see, his pass says that he is married to him. <laughs> 
thinks you've got them mixed up. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're married to him then, are you? Wait a minute. Look, there's something not quite right here. One, two, three, four. Excuse me. Five, six, seven passes. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people. No, now, please. just a minute. That could mean that the one without a pass could be an assassin. Take cover! Take cover! No, 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 no,
Don't worry, I'll put this back in a minute when I can find a home for it. Right, now let's have a see how I can organise these things. Spencer. Huh? I can see somebody watching me through a pair of binoculars. <laughs> little chap, he's got a grey suit on. There's another fella coming to join him. A suspicious-looking pair, Spencer. He's pointing something! Get around! <laughs> Mr. Briggs. <laughs> ah, Mr. President. We thought we saw a couple of men watching us, but uh, they seem to have disappeared on reflection. <laughs> Briggs, this room's in a dreadful mess. I know, Commander. It must have happened when they turned the door upside down. <laughs> I uh, do apologise, Mr. President. We'll get it straightened out for you. Oh, and by the way, I have to remind you that your appointment with the Prime Minister is at six o'clock tonight at Chequers. We'll have the cars and escort waiting for you. Anything else you require, please ask Mr. Briggs. I would like to get some sleep. I'll get that for you, sir. I'll phone room service. <laughs> that won't be necessary, Briggs. Do you enjoy your essay? Thank you. Mr. Mazzella. Oh, and by the way, Briggs, sir? if you need me, I shall be with Mr. Mazzella in room 18. Yes, sir. Sorry, that is room 81. Is it far? <laughs> it's next door, Briggs. Next door? That's interesting. <laughs> room 81 is next door to room 61. That's pretty good. That'll confuse any would-be assassin. Confused you, didn't it, Spencer? Hey? Now, look here. Kathy and I will keep watch in the President's sitting room. I want you two to sit out here, all right? Oh, look, there's only one chair. Well, you'll just have to take it in turns to sit, all right? We get two chairs, sir. Two chairs? No, you get two chairs and that one, then you'll have three chairs. No, no, no. <laughs> Buxton meant one more chair. One more chair? Well, that'll be four chairs. Now. <laughs> that would mean that we would all have to sit out here. No, I'm sorry, I can't allow that. Two of us must stay in there. So you won't need those extra two chairs now, will you, Buxton? Tell you what, I can take the spare one with me. That'll get it out of your way. All right? <laughs> okay, so there you are. Kathy, come away from the window. Keep down, keep down, Kathy. Get away from the window. It's a perfect method for watching people through windows. Stay there, I'm coming over to you, all right? That's it. Keep there, quiet, keep down. All right, Kathy, there you are. All right, you can relax now, I'm here. Um, have we got to stay like this, sir? No, no, we could go and sit on the settee if you like, but keep your head down. Come on. Right. There you are. Keep your head down, keep I'm your head sorry, down, sir. Kathy. It's all right. Sir, hmm? couldn't we draw the curtains? Oh, we could do, Kathy. You've got a paper and pencil. <laughs> I've got no, another idea. I'm tell you what, tell you what, I could phone Jennifer and she could knit us some net ones, couldn't she? She's a very good knitter. Hold on, I'll get Buxton to get her on the phone. Stay there. Hold on. <laughs> Buxton, Buxton, down here. Keep, keep down. Come down when you're talking to me, man. <laughs> I want you to phone my wife, will you? And tell me when she's on the phone. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right. Sir, yes? I mean, couldn't we close the curtains? I see. I've got a better idea. Why don't we pull them together? Hold on, Kathy. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's much better. Safer now. Well, uh, shh. Somebody at the door. Hold on. All right, who is it? Who is it? Spencer. What's the password? There isn't one. Is that right? There isn't one? Yes, sir. It's a funny sort of password. Kathy, I want you to keep your gun handy because I'm going to open this door very, very quickly and it could be dangerous. <laughs> it's you, Spencer. What do you want? Your wife is on the phone. It's not my wife, that's Buxton. <laughs> Your wife is on the other end. Oh, why didn't you say so? Kathy! Yes, sir. Look, come here, I want you to lock this door and don't open it until we are both certain that it is me, all right? Yes, Thank sir. Thank you. Are you certain that it is my wife? Yes, sir. Yes, see, because it could be a man, you know, pretending to be I'm my wife. I'm sure it's Mrs. Briggs, oh, sir. Thank you. Hello, darling, it's me, Edgar. Hello, Edgar. Hello. Uh, we've been uh, guarding the President of Bakria today, darling. What have you been doing? Oh, just doing some knitting in front of the TV. Ah, I see. Can't ask my wife to knit those curtains for me. She's knitting something for the front of the television. <laughs> darling, yes? I've just seen President Hassan. President, what was he doing? Well, just walking. Just walking? Just, hold on. My wife has just seen the President out walking. He's supposed to be in here. Oh, Chris, look out. Jimmy's on television! <laughs> Oh, there you are, sir. Oh, am I glad you're back. 
So next time you go out walking, will you please let us know? It's lucky for you that my wife saw you. Sir, I think there's been a, a misunderstanding. I think uh, your wife must have seen the president on the one o'clock television news. I'm not surprised he's on the one o'clock television news if he goes out walking in his pyjamas. <laughs> so, as attractive as they are, sir, I think you'll have to get them changed before you meet the Prime Minister. Now, what I suggest... <laughs> <laughs> We are waiting for the President's car. The President's car is in front of us. <coughs> then we better hurry and overtake it. Then we'll have time to stand and wait for it. Come on. <laughs> What's that? Huh? It's a duck pond, I think, Spencer. It's the President's car. It's gone off the road. Hold on, I'll pull him behind it. <coughs> <laughs> British intelligence, what happened? Well, um, this Land Rover... Well, all right, all right, I'll ask the questions. British intelligence, what happened? <laughs> Do you know? Yeah. This Land Rover pulls up in front of that car, and two guys with guns get out and drag his other fella out and mm. drove off up there. Yeah. Sorry, you, British sorry, right, sorry, right, this is the president. Sorry, 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 excuse me, excuse me. Yes, sorry, it's about this. Look, Spencer, it seems that there were two, two men, men in, in the Land Rover, yes. Look, just a minute, you told me over there you didn't know anything at all about it. Sorry, sorry. Excuse me, sorry. I'm going to call the commander. Really? Spencer, sorry, this is really ridiculous. You get paid your money for Foxtrot Tango... Sir, hmm? Commander's car, now. <laughs> What's the matter with these things, Spencer? <laughs> Come on. Commander. Briggs! I was just trying to get you on the radio. What happened? I don't know. I must have pulled it out when yes. I got the car. <laughs> Where abducted him? Which way did they go? That way. After them, Briggs. Yes. Get after them. In a car, Briggs! <laughs> In a car, Briggs! There are no cars, sir. They're all out of action. I know what we can do. We can command of that bread van, Commandeer. No, I'm yes, come on. Come on, sir. Everybody in the van. Everybody in. <laughs> President. Mm. Two mm. men abducted him. The zero's at the bottom of this. Mm. You could be right, Commander. Mm. All right, all right, all right. Mm. Are you all right? Uh, yes. Thank you for rescuing me, Commander. It wasn't me, it was the brig. Oh. Brig? Ah. Excuse me. <laughs> no, Commander. Mazira's definitely not at the bottom of this van. I think he's over there. Well done, Briggs. Oh, thank you, Commander. Yes, thank you, Mr. Briggs. No, no, no. Thank you, Mr. President. You see, because if Spencer and I had managed to overtake, then I would have been abducted instead. And then you would have had to rescue me. So thank you, Mr. President. Well done. <laughs> right, if you want to pile in, I'll take us off to Checkers. Come on, come on, come on. 